Okay guys, um, so here we are, complex numbers part three. We're going to talk about complex conjugates, which we've sort of mentioned twice already in both of the previous videos, but this one kind of a bit more detail on why it's important. And then very, very brief outline of what the Argand diagram is and how we can use that to plot um, complex numbers. The one after this, the next video is going to be pretty lengthy. So let's call this the calm before the storm. All right, so what have we got here? Complex conjugates, what are they? If you've watched your previous videos, you've heard me allude to these. Basically, they are almost like the well, conjugates, almost like you're talking about twins there, aren't you? Um, or pair, pairs or partnerships. Well, conjugate really talks about marriage, but we're not going I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. You just got to remember the mathematics of it. You swap the sign on the um, imaginary number. There's a notation for it, Z star. So if Z is your complex number, Z star is the complex conjugate of that. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, I've seen some small uses of this thing, but why have you hyped this up so much? You've talked about it in two previous videos. Why is it so important? It's got a lot of uses, but here's one, one quite important one in terms of like solutions to quadratic equations. Now, if you cast your mind back to the first video, I used an example of a quadratic and you notice that both solutions, they were a pair of con complex conjugates. Each was a complex conjugate of the other. The reason why that is, is that that happens every single time. It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't like something I just picked out of a hat or kind of fixed it to do that. If you have a quadratic and one of your roots is complex, so will the other be. And in fact, we can say explicitly, it will be the complex conjugate of the first root, okay? So if your answer is five plus two i, your other answer is gonna be five minus two i. This extends to cubics too. So if you've got a complex root with a cubic, you also know that the other one, there will be another complex root and there's gonna be one real root as well. How do I know it's gonna be real when it's not gonna be complex? Complex roots only come in pairs. That's one thing you can guarantee yourself about. For the complex numbers, you only get in pairs. So if you've got a complex number, it's a solution of cubic, you know you'll have another one and you know there'll be one real. Quartic's a little bit more complicated, but obviously there's three different things that could happen. You could have two pairs of complex roots, you could have a complex, a pair of complex roots, and two real roots, or you could have all real roots. You couldn't have three complex roots for the reasons I've given you before. If you've got a complex number, its complex conjugate will also be a solution. So that's that. This obviously has kind of big implications in terms of using things like factor theorem. So if you've got a factor um, and you've got a real theorem, I'm sorry, a complex number, you can immediately use the fact that you've got a, um, you also got the complex conjugate to make your algebraic division a little bit easier, perhaps. Um, that's not quite factor theorem, but obviously if you one of your factors is complex, um, again, the implication is you know that you are one of your other answers is going to be complex conjugate, so quite useful. The Argand diagram is the way to draw these things, and you might be thinking, well, this has no connection with the previous things, and you'd be right. We're not quite right. There's always mathematics connected in all kinds of ways. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of topic change, just because I need it for the next thing. Really, really simple. Imagine your graph, x, y axis, x is your real values, y is your imaginary values, and you just plot it as a coordinate. 3 across 2 up for 3 plus 2i. Pretty simple. It will escalate very, very quickly, and that's the next video. But that's that, basically. So Argan diagram, just need it for the thing that I want to do with you next. Probably tomorrow, depends if I've got time. See you later. Bye.